chat in today to do a quick video I guess it'll be a little quick um so I have been gone for a very long time um I actually have not been buying candles as much as I was um you guys unfortunately have a new addiction which is perfumes and fragrances um that includes lotions body oils um butters um high-end perfumes designer niche um whatever type of perfume and fragrance you could put out there i'm all over it these days so i just wanted to come in real quick and do a video of um some scents that i wanted to wear for the summer for my june tray so i've seen a lot of these videos on youtube and i was like oh my gosh this is so amazing it'll help me use up some of the perfumes that i've been currently buying i'm probably currently at maybe 50 bottles or so maybe even 75 i have to recount um i know that's a big jump 50 to 75 but i'm counting the little small um mini ones that i got as well and when i say mini i mean things like this like this little K. Ollie that I got. So she's so cute. But anyway, that's what I mean by minis. Um, so I just have to do a recount because I've bought quite a few items. And um, so yeah, let me go ahead and get started really quick. I'm gonna set up my camera so that I can put some of these scents that I will be wearing for um, the upcoming summertime here in this Arizona heat. Y'all know it gets like, three digit temperatures out here in Arizona during the summertime like we're already in that and it's been over 100 maybe for the past two three weeks maybe even three or four weeks um it's been crazy but it does cool down a lot um towards the nighttime so some of these scents are like really strong powerful um but they do really well in this heat at least on my skin that I've seen so far um some of the stuff that i wear strictly to work which is most of my lighter stuff you can't really smell it um and if you do smell it it's just really um mild non-offensive type stuff because you know i work at a tool shop so who needs all that but outside of work on my days off and stuff i like to smell delicious i like to you know pack it on overspray all that stuff so let me go ahead and grab um a couple of the perfumes and i will be showing you guys what i will be wearing for the summer all right guys so i want to start off with a versace crystal new wear so this one is just a one ounce i believe bottle um it smells so good i got this from sephora i believe um during some type of vib sale or something like that um but you guys it smells to me i get a really predominant coconut note um this is the eau de toilette by the way um a lot of people say that they smell the coconut more in the eau de parfum but i don't have that one um i actually had a little sample of that one and i personally did not like it on my skin um i gravitated towards the eau de toilette and the bottle is just so cute i like it it's a good scent it's versace so you know you can't go wrong with that Okay, that's the first one. Oh, like I said, it is like coconutty to me. I'm sure there's a lot more notes. I'm not going to go through a lot of the notes with you guys. I'm just going to let you know how it smells to me and how it makes me feel. Um, and this is not a work scent. I will not be using this one to work only because to me it's pretty strong. Um, I do overspray, but I also layer this with a few body care items like um, anything coconutty pretty much from... Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secrets, um, and it comes out amazing. So smell like a whole beach goddess. Anyway, so let me go ahead and go to the next one. All right, guys, this has a but been one of my favorites to wear. This is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. It is very sweet, very fruity. It's like a fruit cocktail bomb. Um, I believe there's strawberry in here, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not too sure, but. Um, I pair this with, or it's probably black, black currant or something like that. I'm not sure, but um, look, there's videos everywhere on these types of um, 
for on this perfume in particular so it's a very popular perfume i actually paired this one with um whipped berry meringue from bath and body works and it's in a purple bottle it looks just like this so you guys it's really good together um i use the bath wash not the bath wash but the body cream and the um fragrance mist on top of the valentino born in roma donna born in roma it is so good it smells like i know there's there's vanilla in there too um in valentino and when you put like a body cream that has vanilla in it or like some type of whipped cream or marshmallow or something it just literally brings out the vanilla in this scent and it smells so good so a lot of my scents especially the nighttime ones that i'm going to show you have vanilla or tonka bean because that is my favorite note i love a good gourmand um but i also like fruity scents um if i do have any floral it has to be a fruity floral or a vanillic floral okay so it has to be sweet i have to have some type of sweet in there somewhere i don't just do straight florals that's just not me okay so this one's great once again that is a valentino donna born in roma all right guys Ooh, sorry for the fingerprints i thought i wiped these down but anyway what would a fragrant fragrance tray be without kaoli vanilla 28 this one um i've actually had this one for a while i got a pretty good dent in this one um i actually bought this one before i started going crazy with the perfume buying and i think i've had this one for maybe oh maybe a year or so um probably not even that long probably like eight months nine months um but it's it's one of my first um you know high-end designer or whatever um kaoli is um but i really like this one i mix it with dang near everything because it's just a really good vanilla gourmand scent you can mix this with floral you can mix it with fruity you can mix it with another um gourmand scent it just layers pairs well with everything i want to get kaoli's juicy what is it uh juicy eden apple or apple eden juicy something like that anyway it's like an apple scent with from kaoli as well um it comes in a red bottle very pretty um i want to get that one so that i can go ahead and pair it with this and just see how well that works out for me for the summertime as well but yeah this is kaoli vanilla 28 one of the best to me in my opinion to my nose one of the best vanilla fragrances out there and my juice is really dark um i do keep these in their original packaging um some of the stuff i do display out on my tray for the month that i'm using it for but a majority of the time they are oh sorry for the blindness you guys they are in their packaging okay so it comes like that okay moving on to the next one all right you guys this is mont blanc signature um for women so this one is a very like tonic creamy vanilla beautiful beautiful scent it is very subtle um to me it works very well on my skin um i really really enjoy this for bed um some people do use it you know as a signature scent it is not a signature scent for me um only because it's so freaking relaxing like to me it just puts you in the mindset of your you know fresh out the shower about to lay down you had a stressful long day and you just want to relax like this is one of those scents where it makes you feel like just calm and serene um i don't remember whether or not there's like some type of tino or anything here which i don't think there is but it kind of gives me that vibe um but that's probably because it's so relaxing to me um like a cup of fresh warm milk um sweet 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 um, warm milk um, it is just very very clean very fresh very nice and I adore it so much um, so this is a scent that I have worn to work before and um, while at work it turned into kind of a skin scent for me only because I did not overspray this one and I enjoyed it for work because I was the one who got to smell it because when I would put my arm up um close to my body i smell it so i thoroughly enjoyed this one um this is once again a mont blanc signature for women okay guys so i want to put these two together only because now they do not smell alike but they are both very very sweet juicy succulent 
scents, okay? So this one right here is um, YSL Montpiri. And then this one, I'm sure that a lot of people know what this one is. This is Britney Spears Fantasy Midnight. So to me, to my nose, this one, the YSL, is a lot more floral than this one. Um, the blue bottle, the Britney Spears Midnight, it smells like, to me, like a bag of Skittles or like gummy worms, like very, very sweet. I get compliments on that one. Um, it's just, it's so good. It's so, so sweet. But not to me, not sickeningly sweet where I feel like, oh, I'm nauseous, like this is too much. No, it's just a very good, sweet, um, just candy-like, you know, not cotton candy, but candy like Skittles, Starburst, stuff like that. And then Montpri, same thing, but it's a little more floral, but it is nevertheless very sweet. So I want to put these two together because sometimes I have layered it twice together so i don't use as much of the mon perry as i do this britney spears one this dent if y'all could see that dent probably not but she's that's my girl i use her quite often um both of them are great scents obviously the britney spears one is a lot more affordable than the mon perry the mon perry will run you a pretty penny um unless you have like sephora or alta or um you know if you i guess shop discount websites or whatnot i don't um well i have but i haven't recently in the past few months i haven't i just been getting myself from ulta um online um or sephora or whatever i see out like uh, burlington tj maxx marshall's ross um there's a few scents that i have like that but you guys these two scents right here amazing okay Alright, so this is my new, my new sweet, sugary fruit bomb. Um, this is a watermelon scent. This is Dolce & Gabbana's Le Empatrice. Um, now, mine does not have a three on it. So, um, from what I've been hearing, it's because this bottle is the upgraded version. And um, the old one had a three on the top of the Le Empatrice. And it had... A big D and G on the very bottom of the bottle versus the Dolce and Gabbana um, words lettering at the bottom. So, you guys, this smells so good. I actually pair this one with um, a Bodycology scent. It is Watermelon Splash. That one right there. Um, and I get that from Walmart for like $3.95, girl. It's same thing. It smells so good. It's very sweet. Um really nice watermelon scent. Um, I also pair that when I use body oils, I pair it with this right here. And this is Victoria, or no, pink. This is pink's honey oil. Y'all, that honey with the watermelon and you put the lotion on, oh my God, it's so good. So yeah, um, like I said, this is the updated bottle and you guys look at the dent like for real and I, I'm an oversprayer but y'all I just got this bottle like last week okay that don't make no sense I think less than seven days anyway she's good she's good and then it messed up because I'm off again from work tomorrow so I will be wearing her once again because I mean in this hot heat this scent works so well with my body chemistry and I think it works for a lot of people because it's not offensive like unless you um overspray I think with another scent on top of that if you like layering I think that's when it gets kind of like cloying but other than that if you're just wearing this by itself Liam Patrice is so good like I, I love it as you can see <laughs> all right next one all right, guys, so these next two I put together um not because I layer, layer them it's just because I'm probably like maybe 20, 30 minutes into this video already. So I need to kind of shorten it up. But I got Aquilina's Pink Sugar. Um, is this tall one? And then the shorter one right here, this is Sofia Vergara Love. And this one reminds me a little tiny bit, and I mean a tiny bit of YSL's um, Black Opium, which I also have. Let me show you that one really quick. So I have that one, but just a little bit. Like it's not where it's like, oh my God, it's an exact dupe or anything like that. It's just sweet like that. It, I, to me, 
some people that I've heard on here have said that they've smelled a coffee note or like a some type of cafe note to the love but on my skin unfortunately I'm not getting that um I'm just getting a very sweet nice like um not necessarily creamy but I feel like it can kind of gear towards um not necessarily gourmet but if you layer it with something that's gourmet it'll mesh very well um it actually might work well with this pink sugar because pink sugar just gotten candy to me um i don't wear pink sugar a lot i've had pink sugar forever also um but this is a new bottle because my other bottle my daughter got from me um but this love if you guys can see the dent on that one a little bit yeah i use her i mostly use her for work because she's not offensive um I, you know, I just need a couple hours when I come into work and I usually work a lot of nights. So, you know, just the first couple hours when I'm really busy at work, then, you know, it's okay to have a good scent on. Other than that, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I can smell it on myself regardless and from the time I leave my house to the time I come home. So that's all that's important. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's a great, sweet, beautiful scent and that will be worn for the summertime. All right, I wanted to do one more um, Britney Spears one that I had, and this one is called, you know what, I don't even know what this one is called, um, hold on one second, you guys, I have the bottle here somewhere, or not the bottle, the box, um, organ, unorganized, I swear, anyway, um, this one is called Britney Spears Fantasy Intimate Edition. So it's basically, look at the box. Look how pretty the box is. Hold on. Let me just kind of, oh my God. So cute. It has like this little lace detail on the sides right here. Like it's cute. It's, it's a whole vibe. It's nighttime. So I just want to show you guys this one because this is one that I do wear for bed. Um, I, I, just like the um, Mont Blanc. It doesn't smell like the Mont Blanc, but it puts you in that same mindset of relaxation, um, you know, feeling like just nice and clean and fresh. Um, I've never worn this one outside yet. I don't think, I probably did a scent of the day for it, but it was like a scent of the night, like a bedtime scent um, on my TikTok. If you guys want to go follow me there, it's Mary's Chit Chat on TikTok. Um, but yeah, it's it's such a beautiful, beautiful scent very nice um i think there's a little bit of vanilla in there or tonka bean or something like that i don't know all the notes but to me it's like a very um if it does have a uh, fruit in it it's a very light fruit um i just smell like the creaminess from the vanilla or the tonka bean whatever's in there and that's pretty much what i get so that's all that's important to me because i love it and i like to pair it with when i'm sleeping um or going to bed I like to pair it with Pink's Warm and Cozy, Soft Vanilla, Toasted Coconut, Passion Fruit. Oh, you guys, bomb combination. If you guys are looking for something to wear to bed to be comfortable and sleep good and just wake up in the morning still smelling good and feeling refreshed, that's a good combo right there. So yeah, try that one. I have one more honorable mention only because... I have not worn this scent outside yet. So let me get into it real quick. Um, let me set it up and I'll show you guys one second. Okay. So I don't know if you can see the name here. Um, okay, so this is Amo by um, Salvatore Ferragamo. Okay, now I'm torn with this one only because I've worn it to bed, okay? um one time and I really really like it it's so good it smells like an orange creamsicle it kind of reminds me of Bath and Body Works margarita cupcake but without the margarita so it's like a citrusy ice cream like you get the vanilla you get like that that like tonic vibe from it but it's not creamy in that sense which is weird because it is um, I don't know if this one is like mysterious to me, but I don't know if I want to wear it outside yet in this heat because even at night, 
um i had the ac on at night and this was pretty strong nevertheless and i feel like if it's the heat hits it it might be a little bit too strong but i have heard people say that they wear this in the heat as well but not like scorching heat which i'm in the desert so it's like I got heat and then I got heat. So I feel like maybe during the fall and winter times, this might be a little better, but I just wanted to put this one in here in case you guys were interested in this one. Now, this is one of the ones that I did buy um, off of Fragrance Net, which is gray market. Um, some people don't like that, but you know what? It's perfume. Like, what are you going to do? Who knows where we buy Bath and Body Works stuff, you know, when they come from their warehouses and stuff where those warehouses get it from, like, I'm over it. It smells good. It smells good. Plus, I got it for like 20 bucks, you guys, for this big ass, I think it's a 3.4 ounce bottle. Hold on. Yeah, it's a 3.4 ounce bottle for 20 bucks. I think it was less than 20 bucks on Fragrance Net. So, really, like, that's not even, that's a no-brainer right there. And it smells really, really good. So, um, I don't have too many um complaint well i don't have any complaints about it except for the fact that i don't think i'm gonna be wearing this during the summertime per se but to bed during the summertime yeah i'm wearing her because she's good um other than that that is it i so that is my video i will put this all together for you guys um i was gonna include a lot of the other um like linen combinations and stuff that i have but i might do that for another video because it is late and I am going to have to put all these perfumes away since I dug them all out. And then I'll probably do a collection video soon as well because I'm really, really into these perfumes. Now, um, as for Bath & Body Works, I still have, you know, hundreds of candles, so I don't really need any more. Um, but I do go in there for body care because I do like to pair a lot of these perfumes with body care, um, especially when I want to amp up my scent, especially when I want to, you know, be that girl be that vibe you know be out there like oh she smells good i know anyway so yeah so hopefully you guys are all doing well um i really miss being on youtube i really do i miss talking to you guys hopefully everybody out there is being safe um and everybody's holidays is going great we're going into the summertime i'm excited for it but not really because it's hot so yeah all right guys i will check you guys in this next video i will probably do another one tomorrow or another one next week on my next day off. And I say that a lot and I don't do it because I be tired. Your girl works a lot. Like I damn near live at my job. So yeah. Anybody want to cash at me to help me out? Cool. No plan. <laughs> anyway, all right, you guys. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.